after days of being hit hard by Israel, Hezbollah struck back on Sunday morning. The attack, about 150 missiles, was less than many expected, but Hezbollah aimed deeper than it has previously, targeting the city of Haifa. Most of the missiles were intercepted, but two houses were hit. The owners narrowly survived. First of all, I saw the commotion. Many, many people were running from place to place. There was such trauma and a sort of drama that was here. When we arrived, we saw burnt vehicles. Hezbollah says this was only part of their response. More is expected. Hezbollah said that they were targeting Israeli military bases, but this is a residential area and some of the houses seem to have taken a direct hit. And almost all of the walls of houses close by and many of the cars are peppered with the holes of shrapnel from the blast. Israel has said it will continue hitting Hezbollah. The full Israeli cabinet met today to discuss their next moves. No country can tolerate shooting at its residents, shooting at its cities, and we, the state of Israel, will not tolerate it either. Both Hezbollah and Israel claim they do not want war, but at the same time, both sides are escalating their attacks, and despite grave international concern, there is no sign of diplomacy bringing calm. Israel's president told Sky News his country is determined to win. Lebanon has been hijacked by a terror organization, which is also a political party in Lebanon called Hezbollah. It's been armed to its uh, teeth by the Iranian uh, empire of evil. We don't want to get to war. We don't. We want to bring our citizens back to their homes on the border with Lebanon. Our Al Jazeera office in occupied West Bank has just been raided by... On Sunday morning, Israeli forces raided Al Jazeera's offices in Ramallah and closed the channel down on orders from the government. Al Jazeera broadcast live as it was happening. Northern Israel remains on high alert. People have been told to stay near bomb shelters and schools are closed. There is a feeling that these are only the early days of what could be an extremely violent and chaotic war. Neither side is backing down. Alistair Bunkle, Sky News, near Haifa.